Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com. I've made a new pick a card read for you. How does your person feel about you at the moment? Let's find out. Now, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're finding this video, you've been drawn to it for a reason. It's got the messages that you need. I've made three readings here, the crystal, the flower, and the shell. Each one of them has got a deeper dive to it. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find it is your story, could be a story, you want it to be a story, and you want even more information, then you might want to get that. If you do, toward the end of the readings, we'll be popping a link for up there, and you can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. And down there, that's where you can find your timestamps to fast forward to your reading. So all you need to do now is take your pick. Which one would you like? Would you like the crystal? Crystal? is out with the think it through card would you like the flower the flower is out with the reflect on your priorities card or would you like the shell and the shell is out with the go wild card so take a pick now don't forget to click like before you click off down there click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment that'll get you an entry into a prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month as we'll get in that deeper dive as well that purchase will get you entered into the second prize draw so two chances to win on this video a reading worth 160 australian dollars with me well worth putting yourself in for those now i do a today's tarot every single day of the year and i go live three times a week in my psychic cafe show or I drink coffee I play with cards tarot cards i also give one question readings in there as well and you can book in for one of those on my website behealing.com find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too you can book in for those at any time i do them in the live show but you don't have to come along to it because i will send you the link to it and do yours right at the start if you purchase it beforehand or you can come live you can book while i'm live too now i also offer private readings from my website behealing.com find a link for that in the description box below and also up there too up there too come on camera and um I get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them, often within 24 hours, to be honest. And what else do I do? I make three of these a week as well. Um, so if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and click like on the videos and leave comments and all of that good stuff. It really helps me out. Well, take a pick now. Crystal, flower or shell. I'll see you in your reading. So if you chose the crystal, then this one's for you. Crystals, let's find out how your person feels about you at the moment. Now, as usual, crystals, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, I'm popping a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. So I'm already reading, getting distracted because the cards are coming out already. How's your person feeling about you at the moment? You've got past lives and sunlight after darkness. They feel like they've got a past life with you or you might have made them aware that you think that you have a past life with them that is a relationship where there's something else going on it's like we've got an immediate feeling about someone that doesn't seem to come from this lifetime you know or a feeling like someone's really important to your life it can be that but sunlight after darkness they're feeling happier about this than they were before the Mm, darkness they could have been going through something i don't know but it feels like it's concerning this relationship so they felt unhappy about this relationship or like it couldn't happen or something like that or averse to you it could it could you know if you've got past lives <laughs> we didn't necessarily love the person in our past lives you know um so they could have like um an irrational for this lifetime aversion to you anyway sunlight after darkness that darkness has passed and they feel okay about it now and relaxation they're relaxed around you as well so the chill around you they're more relaxed about it now um it could be someone from the past you know this it could be someone that a stress had someone that you know that was more focused on oh this is just going to be drama and all of this you know a stress had like that and they think that the dramas are outside of them but it's actually their aversion to drama that's like hang on a minute am i not supposed to have a life <laughs> bring in any anything into your life that disturbs you got perseverance in the ocean be beautiful mysterious wild and free so they feel like you're beautiful mysterious wild and free and perseverance stay in the cause 
we're either coming back around again for this person because i really do feel like it's someone from the past or perhaps it's just that past lives energy that i'm picking that up from anyway you were a stress head before feeling like it was too much drama or feeling like that there was some reason that you couldn't be together or something like that that seems to have cleared now and they're more relaxed about it hmm you know, sometimes we can just have so much baggage that we end up rejecting people. This person might have rejected you because of their baggage. Ten of Cups, a happily ever after. So the feeling like this could be it. You could be the one for them, the one that they can have the happily ever after with. The Empress. Oh, they changed their mind about it. See, the hangman was hiding underneath the Empress. So they've changed their mind about that. So Empress being the Divine Feminine. So you're the right one for them. They've changed their mind. This is someone that's pushed you away before king of swords now they've got clarity on it see okay ten of cups tell us why the ten of cups is here please the lovers lovers and the happily ever after they feel like you're made for each other so this is not just lovers which can be surface level you know um a physical attraction it is that but also ten of cups they feel like you could be really good together and be really happy together and this could be a long-term prospect for them now i wonder what healing they've done then to overcome that aversion that they had before letting go and forgiveness well, that's something about it that's for sure so they've let go of something and they're wanting your forgiveness and like i said it might not be a, a like they were involved with someone else it could be that but i'm not really picking that up i'm getting it's more they had baggage perhaps from previous relationships and they were pushing you away based you know they're treating you like someone else as if you were that ex or something like that the empress the hangman so they changed their mind they believe that you're the divine feminine now nine of voices causing them anxiety but so it makes them anxious the depth of this relationship the what you require of them from this relationship because you're asking more from them divine feminine asks more of a masculine um, than most relationships because she's aware and she wants something deep you know and there's no like brushing things under the rug things need to be talked about and addressed you know and she's not going to just be quiet while there's um there are things going on said or or things not being confronted and dealt with in the moment you know um i think most of us can look back at our younger selves and go you know why did i just let that lie why, why didn't i address that why didn't i speak up why didn't i say no let's resolve this let's sit down and talk about this why why was i averse to that you know and nine of voices is the anxiety card so they're a bit anxious about this because they realize you're the divine feminine so requiring a lot more from them you know i think there's a lot of like high quality high value men out there that don't want a challenging relationship they want someone that's kind of lesser than them not an equal to them but lesser than them to, to just have like to not require so much of them you know perhaps someone that's that's involved a lot in their work devoted a lot to that they might probably want um, someone that's lesser than them in, in, a, in a relationship rather than someone that challenges them so there is a level of anxiety there and grounding is behind that but there's an a positive element to this so groundedness you see divine feminine is not where the drama is but sure it requires more in a relationship absolutely you know if you if you want to have any kind of relationship being able to get away with things and things not you know things not be talked about or addressed someone that's not actually going to um expect you to be the best person you can be and to deal with things then divine masculine divine feminine relationship is not for you so they could have been sitting on the fence about this for a while but grounded in it now anyway they've got clarity says the king of swords they have clarity now tell us about this king of swords please what have they got clarity on wow ton of materials Ten of materials that they can have the happily ever after you or someone to build with and the devil build a life with you know and the devil but the spheres around that so this your person's fearful about this but they're clear that 
you can have um, you can have something together, you can build something together for the long term. Ten of Cups and Ten of Materials, the Lovers, Empress, King of Swords, it's good energy. But then, even the Hanged Man, but the Nine of Voices, the Devil and the Hanged Man, you know, it, it's they do have reservations, let's put it that way. It feels like they've had reservations in the past, but they're coming back around to you. There's omens behind that too, so they've been getting signs that you're the one to be with. Yeah, you know, I think all of us are called by the universe to step up and be our best selves. Uh, but sometimes we don't always answer that calling. Sometimes we get a bit lazy about it. Perhaps the universe has persevered with them saying, come on, this is your relationship. Don't be lazy. <laughs> don't be lazy and go for the easier kind of relationships. You know what I mean? I think we've all, all done the easier kind of relationships. Someone that's not really our match. And we end up being the leader in that relationship. Which is a comfort zone, right? But it doesn't demand a lot of us and we get bored easily in those relationships too. We tend to stray from them, grow out of it very quickly. Because actually we've grown out of it before we're even in it. <laughs> when we're choosing down like that. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are. So, there is something going on in the past between you guys, for sure. Perhaps pa criticism, perhaps they're wanting to turn that around again now. Perhaps they've given you good reason to criticize them as well. Be proud of yourself and practice gratitude. So they're proud of you and they're grateful for you. And think it through. They've been thinking it through a lot, that King of Swords, and work through your feelings. So they've been... They have been uh, thinking about this and working through the feelings about you and all of that. So this person has been doing that inner work. This is why the turnaround, you see. Been thinking about you a lot, apparently. And this whole situation. For some of you, midlife crisis, I'm hearing... Perhaps your person's going kind of going through a midlife crisis and not really sure of what it is that they want. Got security, strings attached. Okay, so dual energy in this could feel secure with this person. However, there seems to be a caveat to it, you know. Uh, I don't get too comfortable with this <laughs> kind of a thing. And this commitment and spark as well. So this could be both, you know, the lovers and the ten of cups. Yeah, I feel like your person's still got a conflict about this, something about their life, your life, I don't know. There's something there, I mean, there's still fears, you know, and anxiety about this, so they're not completely confident about it. There's naughtiness, wanting to be playful with you, naughty with you, and healing as well, a healing relationship. Nice. Okay. Let's get one of these out. Tell us how they feel about crystals, please. Two, actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. Could be their love language as well. You could have done things with this person and that has spoken loudly to them. And listen with your heart. You're listening but need to hear with a loving heart. So perhaps they're all in the mind. In fact, yeah, there's a lot of mind stuff here. King of Swords. Hanged man, nine of voices. There is a lot of mind stuff here. So this person could be an overthinker. And then they, they could have been the universe trying to tune them into the heart more and their feelings. Been working through those feelings. I'm thinking it through at the same time. Nice balance of the mind and the heart. Okay. Well, becoming a, a better balance of the mind or the heart. I think the person is mostly mind rather than heart. They need to focus a little bit more on the heart feels like they've been pushed in that direction they're so sorry for what went on before mm. i dive in and out of relationships yeah surface level i feel like this person has been thinking oh it's better for me to be in a surface level or a, a lesser kind of a relationship less drama less this like you know like wanting less from me but like, like I said, we get bored. We get bored really easily and we grow out of those because we've already grown out of them. 
those kind of relationships, surface level kind of relationships, they just don't last. I feel terrible for hurting you, they said, and they believe that you're their twin flame. So this is someone definitely that believes you're the Empress, you're the Divine Feminine into their Divine Masculine. How about that? Okay, tell us more. What do I want to say? What do they want to say? Water under the bridge. They're hoping that you will let it go, what has gone before, and forgive them and let go of that. So I do feel like you've got your person coming at you with um, an apology. We'll get into that in the deeper dive read there. That's blown into my mouth. A telepathic bond. There's a connection between you, a close connection. You've had past lives. There's someone keeping me from you. Oh, the last card out, a little bit of intrigue there. Well, let's find out all about that in the deeper dive. If that sounds like it is your story, could be a story, you want it to be a story, you might want to get that deeper dive for even more. If you do, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now, and it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully, because if you get that wrong, you won't receive it. Now, the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam junk or promotions folder. Do check those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower on the shell. Click on the crystal. On your device, you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button. If you're new, you leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive as well, that'll get you entered into the second prize draw. So good luck with winning those. But if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read for even more about this whole situation, then I'll see you in there very shortly. So if you chose a the flower, then this one's for you. Flowers, you've got a hair on you. Let's find out how your person feels about you at the moment now as usual flowers there's going to be a deeper dive to this that's an extended reading that goes with it if you find that it is your story could be a story wanted to be a story then you might want to get that for even more if you do toward the end of the reading i'll be popping a link for it up there you can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below so how does your person feel about you at the moment flowers well that's a lot of cards but i'm told to take them so let's do it okay how does your person feel about you at the moment? Watching and listening carefully. So they're paying attention to you. They might be um, just kind of noticing noticing you or getting to know you. Could be a bit of a careful person. This. The awakening. So they're waking up to something, something being revealed to them, feeling a calling towards you and calling forth away. So they're like, okay, this is going to be a big one. Um, perhaps an emotional one. Um, I'm ready for the turbulence that this brings into my life and the noble one. This is the kind of person that does the right thing. So I do feel like this is someone who has been noticing you, thinking about getting to, into a relationship with you. They do the right thing. They've got a good heart and a good head on them here. And they know that this is going to bring some turbulence, some um, relationships always do, right? You never know it's going to, whether it's going to work out and it, it makes changes in our lives. And Okay, a lot of cards. <laughs> courage, vulnerability. So it's going to take courage and vulnerability for them to come toward you. Intuition and guardian. They know intuitively to take care of you, to protect you from something. Do the right thing. This person cares about you, is protective of you. They've been watching you from a distance, it feels like. Empathy and strength they might have noticed that you're empathic and they might see you being really strong and perhaps that could be why they think that they need to protect you listen and meditate so they've been thinking a lot about this and they've been listening to you paying attention to you this person is very perceptive about you okay tell us more but it feels like they've been watching you for a while might be just one of those kind of people you know that someone new comes into the life and I'm like, oh, could be something in this, but I need to get to know them first, watch them for a while, see who the being, see who they really are. Take the time in that kind of a way. The Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands is the start of something really exciting. Now, exciting news as well. It could be about an exciting reveal because the pages are the, um, what do you call them? 
messengers, the queen and the king, or the emperor and the empress. And so it's about often about news, the devil, there's fears coming up for them now. Obsession, temptation can be the devil too. Tell us more. Two of Pentacles, thinking a lot about this. Um, weighing up my options, the King of Pentacles, about my stability and what I've got to offer. Ten of Wands, I need to put some burdens down. So your person could be very busy, uh, Pentacles, working and all of that kind of thing, could have been prioritizing that. They need to weigh up their options, so pros and cons, that kind of thing. Probably need to put some of those burdens down in order to have a relationship. Perhaps they're just very busy about it. And so something would need to give in order to be in a relationship with you, just for the whole time available thing. Tell us about the Page of Wands, exciting news, or the start of something exciting, Page of Wands. So so that could be about them telling you, you know, about how, how they're really into you. Knight of Materials, Muse of Materials. I've been so slow though because, Muse of Materials, King of Pentacles, because I'm, I'm so focused on my career right now, that's why I'm being really slow. So they could be saying, look, I really like you and I want something with you. Sorry, I've been so slow. It's just I'm focused on my career. Masculine energy and self-love. I've had to put myself first. It's a self-loving thing to do. Um, so yeah, it is the masculine energy that's caused them to do that. Self-love in a masculine way, them having to prioritize their career. The devil though, why have we got the devil energy here please? So the devil can be obsession, it can be temptation, it can be fears though. Fears about starting something new, pulled in two directions. Your person has definitely been on the fence about this. Again, the fool indicates the courage, you know, to be vulnerable with you and tell you. It's like a very sensible person, this one. Very good energy that they've got the noble one out there. So this is someone that does the right thing. Will do the right thing by you. There's integration behind that. So it's about integrating your lives together or integrating a relationship into their lives. I don't think this person has been in a relationship for a while because they've been prioritizing their work. And here it is, prioritizing the work. They'd have to put some of those burdens down. So the devil, the chariot and the fool is like, they want to start things off, but they're in two minds and there's fears coming up about that, says the devil. Nights of inspiration, but they want to act on this passion that they've got for you. So they're thinking of putting some of these burdens down, the work burdens down to free up some time. And death, yeah, something needs to end. So they need to end a pattern or a pattern of focus that they've got in the life, death. Um, you know, they might have been really trying to achieve something in their business or in the in their career path. And they realize like in order to start this relationship, they're gonna have to take the foot off the accelerator in that way or or change death could be like changing the, the goals in a way or giving themselves some lenience here with that goal you know if they set a goal yeah it's about money so if they set a goal for like be by the end of the year to get the promotion or something like that and it's like and then you've shown up and they're like oh to have a relationship i can't really be so um focused on my career there's inner journey and abundance behind that Right, in a journey in abundance, that suggests that they've got something going on about abundance here, a story, you know, they could be the first person in their family to be pulling themselves out of poverty, uh, for example. It could be very important to them that they've been really blink of vision on that and then you come along too. I'm like, oh, relationship too? <laughs> Can I manage that? They're thinking about it. How are they feeling about flowers? friendship they're nurturing the bonds of friendship so friends at the moment and they're nurturing that i feel like this person has been trying to keep you in that friend zone for a while and they're reflecting on their priorities right now see told you reflecting on their priorities right now wondering whether it really is a good idea to be so focused on their career as they have been they think this is true love this friendship yeah, definitely someone that has been watching you for a while that is um, 
being a friend to you, not not yet been moving it into a more romantic level, even though there's this Knight of Inspiration, Page of Wands there, they do have these feelings for you and this attraction for you. They believe that this is true love too. It's, going, it's headed in the right direction. This, this person is just really taking their time because they want to do the right thing. And the right thing isn't just by you and just by relationship. The right thing is by their priorities as well in life. Heartbreak and giving oneself. I feel like they've not done this in the past, you see. I think perhaps they prioritized its relationship in the past and then they regretted it. Um, there has been heartbreak when they've given themselves before and so they're reticent to do that. They're, they've got some fears coming up for sure about that. Overthinker you've got here, right? What else? How are they feeling about flowers? Physical touch means so much to them when you touch them. So you're friends at the moment, right? But when you touch them, really means a lot to them. They want to touch you more as well. Miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. They believe that you're a miracle and a blessing in their life. Forgiveness. They know that they've disappointed you in the past by not coming forward and they're hoping that they'll forgive you, but love endures. It's almost been a test. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. It's almost been a test, making you wait. It's not just been that because they've got other stuff going on, but the feelings haven't changed and this is good. This is a friendship that is, it's still there and it's still going. So it makes them positive about this. What would they like to say? Really? I'm just surprised that so many came out and then the guy said, yeah, it was those cards. Okay. Please be patient with me. You got more waiting going on with this person. I can see myself with you in the future. I feel like I'm not good enough for you right now. Now, this person does have an issue with abundance and how, how it makes them feel on the inside. They're, it feels to me like a familial story that they've got, a family story that they've got and they're breaking free of. So they're judging themselves about their stability and the money and all of that kind of thing, which is why they're prioritizing career. And that could be what's making them feeling, feeling not good enough for you. This one-sided relationship as well. Perhaps they're feeling like you offer more within the relationship and it would be one-sided. Not feeling good enough yet. It's not necessarily true, that. But I do feel like your person's got issues about money. Maybe not like a lack of money or anything, but like internal beliefs about their self-esteem and their self-worth and stuff like that. And it's connected with money. Now, we shouldn't be judging ourselves based on our money. Our money doesn't provide our worth, but... We have all kinds of stories going on, right? I wish I could turn back the clock and do things over. Okay. They would change things. Twin flame journey. They believe you're supposed to be together and obstacles, but there are obstacles in the way still. Are they going to turn that around? Well, let's find out. In that deeper dive read, if that sounds like it is your story, it could be a story, you want it to be a story, you might want to get that deeper dive for even more, that extended reading. Uh, if you want to, I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you won't receive it. Now, the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam, junk or promotions folder. Do check those places. In that email, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click on the flower. On your device, you can open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, then just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button if you're new and leave a comment. That'll get you an entry into that prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month. As we'll get in that deeper dive as well, that'll get you entered into the second prize draw. So two chances to win with this video. But if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive read for even more, then I'll see you in there very shortly. So if you chose the shell, then this one's for you, shells. Let's find out how your person feels about you at the moment. Now, as usual, shells, there's going to be a deeper dive to this. That's an extended reading that goes with it. If you find that it is your story, could be a story, want it to be a story, then you might want to get that for even more. If you do, toward the end of the reading, I'll be popping a link for it up there. You can also find a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. 
So, Charles, let's find out how your person feels about you at the moment. Mm -hmm. Calling forth the waves. Wanting to shake up. Wanting to go there emotionally. There's almost this feeling like they, they know that you're going to be expecting a lot from this person and there's this okay let's do this <laughs> that's what it is it's okay let's do this a little bit of trepidation but okay let's do this calling forth away is a bit of disruptive energy there but it doesn't feel like anything major it just feels like well you know relationships are emotionally disruptive they are they just are Gratitude, they're grateful to have met you, balance in their life and intuition. So they're feeling an intuitive connection with you and they're grateful to have met you. Something about balancing their life up as well. Could have been tricky for them to find that balance in their life. So they've got a little bit of an elusive energy, this person. Some people are easy to read and some people are not. Some people kind of guard their energy a little bit, don't want to be found out, you know, aren't, aren't so um, open book, open book energy. Did you know that? Some people are harder to read than others. Your person's a little bit hard to read. Explore. Maps show what's already been discovered. Go another way. Mm. It's like your person here... It's preempting how this relationship is going to go. It's like, I know how this is going to go. But change and wild. This believing in your otherworldly beauty, dance with the waves and drink in the sunshine. They want to explore this. It's different to them. You've got a strong energy for this person. Um, they know that you're going to shake their life up. Now, this person, they might have been always the leader in a relationship, you know, be about them. And perhaps you've got more about you, more of an equal to them. So you're not just going to go along with their life. There's a feeling of a bit of a challenge here. You're a bit more challenging. Yeah, reaching higher. Five of Wands, reaching higher. So you are better than they've had before. Not better, yeah, maybe better, but expecting more of them than other people have before. They know this, that there is a, the pondering this more than they would other relationships because they realize like I've really got to come with my A game to this one. Um, seven of Cups, Two of Wands, so they're at a crossroads right now. Seven of Cups and they're confused about their choices, so they're, Wondering whether to be with you or not. Empress and the star. Well, they kind of wished for the divine feminine, someone like you. And then when you come along, they're like, oh, mm, okay. It comes with its expectations of me too. It's going to call forth away and it's going to shake my life up. Careful what you wish for kind of an energy, right? And that goes for you too. Empress, you want an emperor. Careful what you wish for, you know, because it's going to expect... It's going to require more from you in a relationship. Five of Wands. It's like people, you know, perhaps you want someone that's really successful and really rich or something, but then the reality of that is someone that doesn't have a lot of time for relationships or, or doing any of the inner work because they're so busy about, you know, work, work and, and money. So be careful what you wish for. Anyway, five of wands reaching higher. So you're, you're better than they've had before. And also acquiring more from them. The fool and the chariot. So they're pulled in two directions about this, about starting off and going for it. It's, it requires a lot of courage from them. Yeah, so they've wished for better and then you've shown up and then they're like, oh, I didn't think that it's going to require more from me. <laughs> Kind of similar to crystals reading this one. It might be some crossover with the crystals reading. If you were drawn to the crystal at all, if you were pulled in two directions with the crystal and the shell, you might resonate with both. This time around. Divine timing. Ah, okay. Divine timing, but your paths have crossed at perfect timing. 
it's it is something that they've asked for this but then there's when it shows up they're like oh okay seven of cups two of wands i'm at a crossroads right now but should i do it this person is thinking a lot about this should they choose it but they're confused about the choices three of materials could be asking other people about it too ace of emotions but falling in love so there's this the heart is pulling them falling in love with you so the heart is pulling them towards you but there is a pull away from you because of what you'll be expecting from them and, and how they need to step up. And three materials I'm clearly getting from this that they are talking to other people about it because they're confused about the choices. This is really what I want or is, is this fear um, telling me to be wary of this, you know? I, I feel like they've got friends that know them pretty well and stuff like that there's unlimited possibilities so they think that they've got other options here they probably do have other options as well okay well the empress and the star but they didn't wish for empress someone like you the wheel of fortune and fate brings you along says the wheel of fortune and three voices breaks a heart it's it's a challenge to them it's a challenge to their heart to it's not so easy is it huh it's not so easy It's like wishing for like a, a CEO position or something like that and you get it and you're like, yeah, it's like, ah, shit, now I need to go to work and, and I need to run this like <laughs> mega company and there's like how many thousands of people relying on me to make it work and their, and their families and their income. Care for what you wish for, right? Ascension. So it's leveling up. So here you've got somebody who wished for something better, a better kind of relationship. Empress, you show up and they're like, oh, oh, it's going to require more of me. <laughs> Tell us more. How are they feeling about you? But they're falling in love with you. Not really a lot of feeling about that, but a lot of fear in this person. But the ace of emotions, they are falling in love with you. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception. This person's worried that this person is worried based on what they've been through before. They're talking to other people about it as well that know them really well. Like, I'm making a mistake with this person because I'm fearful. Is this another me, me choosing the wrong kind of person again? You're trying too hard. Give it time. So they need more time to figure this out. They're at this crossroads and they really need to think it through. I think your person here has made a lot of poor choices in relationships who hasn't but <laughs> um they're, they're worried that they're making another poor choice again because fears are coming up and they're just deciphering whether these fears are true fears or whether it's just out of the comfort zone kind of fears i really do feel like they've got other people in their energy though other people that are giving them advice about this to figure it out go wild there is that pull toward you and know that they'll have a really great time with you too a big part of them is pulled towards you to just throw caution to the wind and do this and they know that it's going to be wild like um a really positive experience oh it's a big strong pull for them to throw caution to the wind here and some days they may feel braver than others and go oh, to hell with it let's just do this let's just throw ourselves into this and then fear comes up see and then the fear comes up the next day they're like oh god what am i thinking other people are talking to them about this influencing them about it as well about the talking about their fear to other people but know them joy and wild abandon there's that wild abandon again like they know that they're going to have this really joyful wild abandon with you they know that and they've got a strong pull toward that and a strong fear of it too of what it requires from them tell us more about how they feel they feel they have a spiritual connection choose love over fear right that they know that they need to do that choose love over fear and honesty is essential speak with love and truth they know that they need to be honest with you they know that you're asking for that they need to get over the fears right 
right now to come forward. I don't know whether if they're going to do that or not, but we can find out. Especially in that deeper dive. What do they want to say? Secrets and deception. They're keeping things from you. They know that they need to reveal the truth to you, but they're not doing it at the moment. I will find my ba way back to you one day. Away at the moment. Coming back. You're the love of my life. I don't think they've told you these things. Because that secrets and deception, it's just like they zipped it. They didn't tell you much at all. The fear took over, you know. What else do they want to say? I wish I could turn back the clock and do things over because there's obstacles in the way. Twin flame journey, they say. They think that you're made for each other, but you're bringing up fear in this person for sure. Now, you might have thought that this person has gone out of your life because I think that they will have just, you know, retracted themselves because of that fear, but you might not be aware while well, you are now that they're con still considering this and they're intending to come back. But that is what I've got. Now, if you want to find out even more, so what's going to happen then? Are they going to get over their fears and come in? Let's find out in that deeper dive. If you're interested in that, then I'll pop a link for it up there. There's also a link for that in the description box and in the comments below. It's 20 Australian dollars, which is about 15 American dollars right now. And it's an instant watch kind of a thing. You do need to type your email address in very carefully because if you get that wrong, you won't receive it. Now, the email, it might end up in your inbox, but it might end up in your spam junk or promotion folder. Do check those places. In those emails, you will see a link to the crystal, the flower and the shell. Click on the shell. On your device, it could open PDFs with. In that PDF, amongst other things, you'll see a picture of a video. And when you click on that, if it doesn't take you right away to a video, just try it on a different device and it will. So thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click that subscribe button. If you're new and leave a comment, that'll get you an entry into the prize draw for a free reading with me at the end of the month worth 160 Australian dollars. So it's well worth doing that. As we'll get in that deeper dive as well, that'll get you entered into the second prize draw for another one. So two chances to win with this reading. But if this is where you're leaving me, good luck with all of this. If you're coming with me to that deeper dive to find out even more, then I'll see you in there very shortly.